You didn't think that that was going to be the end of it, did you? What, no credit rolls or anything? No. This is the real final ending. Doomsday Zone. Once, collect once you've collected all of the trinkets, all of the special stuff, this is what it gets you. An epic battle to try and save the fate of everyone. I'm being really, really dramatic. Please forgive me. Anyway, this is the final fight. Um, nothing too difficult. Right now, really, you just want to collect as many rings as you can. I don't think you're supposed to go for... Um, I think... Maybe you do, I don't know. This one, this, this part's always confused me. Primarily because, I mean... It, it, this is an awesome fight, but I don't know, I just never really liked it. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. There we go. Now, um, it's a matter of oh, yeah, hitting him with his own missiles. I know, you're supersonic, and yet you're required to hit him with his own missiles? I mean, that just seems weird to me. I must... Ah, damn. Three... Four, five. Oh, there you go. Let's go right with this. There we go. Let's go and collect a couple of rings. Incidentally, this one's actually a little bit easier to use with the control stick than it is with a, a GameCube control pad. Um, probably because it's not really easy to do the diagonal stuff, and there's a lot of stuff with diagonals in this. Let's try that. Let's see if that's enough. Now, all this one, you just gotta avoid those things and just hit them in the back. I believe, once again, it's eight times, just, with the, just like with everything else. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm we'll gonna try and keep the count. Two. Oh, what? Three. There we go. Hang back, collect a couple of rings. This is really the best way to do it because, as far as I'm aware, this is the mo this is a limitless amount of rings. It only requires eight hits, so you know, collect yourself, you know, up to 40, 50 rings by hanging back a little while. And as you start to rush, that's when he starts to come in. Is once you go like past the screen. There we go. Four. So I'm gonna go and rush in there. What? Ah. Uh, hang back for a little bit, grab some more rings. There is a pattern to the ring spawn, I just don't ever remember what it is. But eventually it does hit a, a level where you're constantly, like, it, it, it you're, yeah, this part right here, I believe, yeah, you're just constantly getting a set of rings. And if you can follow the right path, you can normally get. Barring losing the rings because of supersonic five. Barring losing the rings because you're supersonic, you can normally get about 20. Maybe, maybe it's over reaching six, I believe. Seven, I think. Six or seven, I believe. There we go. Eight.
there you have it. Sonic and Knuckles. Again, I'd like to say that I have no idea how this got in for the vote for the set for my second playthrough. I've been wondering that ever since I started playing this. I'd like to say again as well that I had nothing to do with it. I chose some random numbers and the those were the three games that happened to show up and this being one of them, I still don't have any idea what fate could have possessed that to happen. Anyway, I had a lot of fun playing this. Even though I'm not a fan of Knuckles' playthrough, I have to admit it was nice being able to actually see it. And I will admit, Lava Reef Zone, the, the design of Lava Reef Zone for Knuckles' playthrough is actually really neat. Um, in terms of the level design itself, um, someday, same with the Sonic 3 playthrough, I might do a review. I want to, it's just, it's more that it's difficult for me. Anyway, it was a lot of fun being able to play this game, and I hope everyone who watches this will stay tuned for my next playthrough. Until then.